Now we're going to cover how to enter labs for each particular assessment. Let's say that for the low back pain, you wanted to check a calcium level. Um, so you would select, you can search here in the list for calcium. Let's just say we're going to do a calcium level. For the type 2 diabetes, let's say that we want to check a hemoglobin A1C, a CMP, a CBC, um, and like a microbiome, and so we're going to search for that. Perfect. Let's say that you make a mistake and you actually want to take the CMP off the list. You would just select it and delete the row. Now, if you're ordering these tests for a future date, you have to select the date here. Here you want to save and close as well, and save and close. Remember that when you enter labs, you have to either print them to the lab or print a copy of the labs to give to the patients for a future date walk-in. So once you want to do that, you go to checkout. Here you will see the labs and the labs listed that you actually selected previously. You would just select one, for example, and then create a requisition. Once you create the requisition, you let the document generate. Again, you can print to the lab. You just have to find the lab printer in the list. Or you print and give a copy of the labs to the patient so that they can come in on a different day and get them done. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy it.